<laughs> Sarah Baby. Now the whole world has one language and a common speech, obviously English now. <laughs> Come on. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. Wait, my nose is itchy. Let me scratch my nose real quick. Wait, never mind. This my eyebrow. Now my nose. Okay. They told. They said to each other, "Come, let's make bricks and bake them dirty." They used brick instead of stone, and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, "Come, let us build ourselves a city, the tower that reaches to the heavens." That we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to the, see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, If it's one people speaking the same language they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so we will not understand each other. <coughs> Papa, oh, sorry. So the scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From the Lord scattered them, from there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. That is the account of Shem's family line. Two years after the flood. When Shem was 100 years old, he became the father of Ephesek. Shem lived 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Ephesek lived 335 years, he became the father of Sheila. And after he became the father of Sheila, Ephesek lived 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sheila had lived 30 years, he became the father of Eber. And after he became the father of Eber, she she lived four hundred three years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived thirty four years, he became the father of Peleg. After he became the father of Peleg, Eber lived four hundred thirty years and had other sons and daughters. When Peleg had lived thirty years, he became the father of Rui. And after he became the father of Rui. Peleg lived 209 years and had other sons and daughters. When Roy had lived 32 years, uh, he became the father of Sirug. After he became the father of Sirug, Roy uh, lived 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sirug had lived 30 years, he became the father of Nahor. And after he became the father of Nahor, Sirug lived 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived 29 years, he became the father of Terah, and after he became the father of Terah, Nahut lived 119 years and other had other sons and daughters. After Terah had lived 69 plus 1 years, he became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. Abraham's family, this is the account of Terah's family line. Terah became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran became the father of Lot. Whilst father Terah was still alive, Haran died. In Ur of the Chaldean, Ch Chaldeans, in the land of his birth, Abraham and Nahor both married. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah. She was the daughter of Haran, and the father of both Milcah and Iscah. Now Sarah was childless because she was not able to conceive. Terah looked to his son Abraham, his grandson Lot of Haran. And his daughter in law Sarai, the wife of his son Abraham, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Can Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Tamar lived 205 years and he died in Haran. <laughs>